Hi guys, welcome to Elixir Tutorial Part 5. My name is Tensor from the Tensor Programming Blog. And today we're going to set up a simple web server using Elixir. We're going to be using a module called Plug and a module called Cowboy. Now Plug is basically a specification that allows different frameworks to talk to different web servers inside of the Erlang virtual machine. If you're familiar with Ruby, for example, Plug is similar to Rake. So understanding plug is very important because when we get into the Phoenix framework or any other web framework on Elixir really, all of them are going to be using plug. All right, so let's set up our project. We're gonna say mix new, and we're just gonna call it plug underscore ex. So now let's open this up in sublime text. So here's our project and let's clean this out. We're gonna use it. All right, so we want to add plug and cowboy to our dependencies here. So both of them are version one. All right, so we've put plug and cowboy in our dependencies and we need to define them up here in our extra applications. To do that, all we do is simply just put them in as uh, atoms, as you can see here. So plug is our specification for handling routes and cowboy is our server. You can think of plug as sort of a piece of code that takes a data structure, more specifically that data structure is our connection, and then transforms that data structure and then returns the data structure. So in this case, we are taking in a connection and the connection of course represents everything that comes with an HTTP request. So all of the plugs inside of plug receive and return connections and this makes them extremely composable so we can take multiple plugs and put them together. All right, so we're going to create a new file and let's call it router.ex and our module will be called plugex.router and inside of this we want to say use plug.router and this will allow us to uh, specifically use some of the functions inside of plug we want to say plug match plug dispatch so match and dispatch allows us to uh, basically match our route and then dispatch a piece of code back. So for example, you can think of this module as a pattern matching module. So say we wanna get a get request at the root route, we put in get and then the root route and then we say do. And in this case, we're going to send a response back. So we're going to use this function called send response. We're gonna put in the connection, which is C-O-N-N, then the number that we wanna send back. So in this case, a 200. So then we'll put in a string the way this is working is when we run our server, it will look at the connection and it will match the route. So if we're at the end at the root route, it will automatically shoot back hello there. So we can actually add another plug in here. Say we wanna match everything else. Let's make it a single line function. It will send a response back and this will take in the connection and it will send back a 404 error not found. So you can think of these like pattern matching cases. Order is of course important. If we were to put this above this, then this would never run because this would always match first. So let's set up our supervisor and then get our application running. So inside of our children block here, we need to define what we want. So we're gonna say plug adapters, cowboy. And then we're gonna use a function called child spec. We're going to say that this is going to be an HTTP server. And then we're going to put in our router. So plug X. Dot router then we will put in the arguments so in this case no arguments and we need to put in the port so the port here we want is 8000 and there we go so this will run on port 8000 now we just need to set it up inside of our mix.exs so now we just need to set up our uh, application to run automatically so we come in here we put in mod and then the application name that we want to run in this case plug.ex and then of course we want to pass in an empty list so before we run this, we need to get the uh, dependencies. So we can say mix do depths.get and compile. And this will both compile our dependencies and our application as well as getting the dependencies. So now that our dependencies and our application are compiled, we can run it. So to run it, we want to say mix run dash dash no halt. So we specified in here that we wanted logger to come back with apps started when the application has started. And as you can see here, it says here, app started so now if we go in here we can go localhost and say we're going to 8000 right and this is the root and as you can see it shoots back hello there now if we put in any other uh, route currently so say we put in example this will just go to a 404 error not found 
we can put in anything really and it will automatically match it for us so say we want to now serve a piece of HTML in here we want to serve a piece of static HTML so we have to add a plug here and we want to add this plug after our match and dispatch so that our pattern matching here will continue to work so then we specify the module that we want so we're specifying plug.static then we're saying this is going to happen at this route so at the home route and then we're going to say that the file is coming from the server so now we need to make another plug case for home all right so here's our route as you can see we get home we're going to put this after our index and then we need to modify our connection so that it's ready to get a piece of html so we're going to use this function get response content type and this will define the type as html and then we're going to send a file so instead of sending a response send a file and we're going to put in the connection we're going to put in 200 and then we're going to identify the file that we want to serve so in this case i've put the index file that we want to serve inside of lib here so we just write lib backslash index now this index file is actually our reddit spa that we compiled from elm so this is actually an elm html file and the reason why i put this in here is just to show you that we can serve really any piece of html that we want so let's rerun our program so now if we go to index it's the same as always but if we go to home as you can see here we're now in our reddit spa this will work as it worked before And this will work as normal so as you can see i can just type in a subreddit i want to go to and it will fetch all the stuff so let's say you just had a bunch of html that you just wanted to serve maybe just a bunch of static html you could set it up like this very easily and just have a bunch of routes where you're serving static files from of course phoenix allows us to do a lot of more dynamic things but this is mainly what we can do with plug and if we wanted to, we could add dynamic things as well. So for example, if we want a dynamic route in here, we could create one. So we could say about, and let's put in a variable. So we're just gonna call this user. So if we get about, it's going to match the next part of it with this um, variable. And here we go. So if we go to about, we can send in the um, username and then it will reply with hello username now let's rerun our program so now if we go about and say jack this will say hello jack so you can see how this could be interesting we could of course create different uh, dynamic routes in here very easily with this so if we go back into our application so our main entry point here you notice that our port is sort of hard-coded in here if we go back into our mix.exs file, it's kind of important to go in here and set up an environment. So if we put env, and then in here we want to specify this as the cowboy port. And we're just going to put in the port that we want in here. So in this case, we want port 8000. And then we can go back into our plug.ex file, and we can come up here above children. We can create a port variable and we can match it with application.get environment. Inside of here, we'll just put in plug ex, so the name of the application. And then we'll put in cowboy port, and then a fallback port number, so in this case, 8000. So we can replace this now with just port, and all this will work. And if we wanted to change the port inside of the mix.exs, we could do that and if the port failed then it would fall back to 8000 automatically it's also worth noting that these get keywords just correspond with get requests in html so for example if we wanted to have a put request we could say put and then we could use the index for example and we could have a put request on here as well however i'd rather cover that when we get into phoenix Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on Plug and on Cowboy. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe and like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave any in the comments section. 
And if you dislike the video, then go ahead and hit the down vote as much as you want. I hope you guys have a good day.